Hillary Clinton's campaign invented the Russia hoax, so it's not surprising that she will say just about anything about her enemies. During a recent podcast, Clinton claimed that both Green Party presidential candidate Jill Stein and another unnamed Democrat are, in fact, Russian agents. Listen. Making any predictions, but I think they've got their eye on somebody who's currently in the Democratic <laughs> primary and are grooming her to be the third party candidate. She's a favorite of the Russians. They have a bunch of sites and bots and other ways of supporting her mm -hmm. so far. And that's assuming Jill Stein will give it up, which she might not, because she's also a Russian right. uh, asset. Richard. Hillary didn't name the Democratic Manchurian candidate, but it wasn't hard to guess who she meant. She was talking about Congressman Tulsi Gabbard of Hawaii. Now, Nick Merrill, who's Hillary's spokesman, confirmed that interpretation. He said, quote, if the nesting doll fits, this is not some outlandish claim. This is reality, end quote. Keep in mind, this is the very same Nick Merrill who warned Ronan Farrow not to expose Harvey Weinstein's sex crimes. So consider that for context. Earlier today, Congresswoman Gabbard tweeted a response. Here's what she wrote. Thank you, Hillary Clinton. You, the queen of warmongers, the embodiment of corruption, the personification of the rot that has sickened the Democratic Party for so long, have finally come out from behind the curtain. It's now clear that this primary is between you and me. Don't cowardly hide behind your proxies. Join the race directly. End quote. Congresswoman Gabbard is on the road campaigning tonight and joins us, I believe, from Iowa. Congresswoman, well, thank you very much for coming on. Thanks, sucker. So just to, to the factual point first, um, are you a Russian sleeper cell? <laughs> uh, look, here, let me tell you what this is about. Uh, this is about Hillary Clinton sending a very strong message saying that because I am and have long been calling for an end to, to our country's foreign policy of waging one regime change war after the next, uh, the likes of which we've seen in Iraq, in Libya, and ongoing in Syria, and because I'm calling for an end to this new Cold War and nuclear arms race, that I am a Russian asset and that I am a traitor to the nation that I love. And not only are they saying that about me, they are basically saying, sending this message out to every veteran in this country, every service member, every American, anyone watching at home who is fighting for peace and who is calling for an end to these regime change wars, this new Cold War and arms race, they are saying that you are also a Russian asset, that you are also a traitor to this country. That's really what's happening here. But to call someone, I mean, it's one thing to say, I disagree with you, I think you're wrong, you know, you're crazy even, but to say you're betraying your country, and by the way, I should remind our viewers, you're a veteran, uh, but, but that any American is betraying his or her country is, is a different level. I, I've never heard anybody at Hillary Clinton's level say something like that. And the reason why she's doing this is because ultimately she knows that she can't control me. That, that I stand for, I stand against everything that she represents. And that if I'm elected president, if I'm the Democratic nominee and elected president, that she won't be able to control me. She won't be able to manipulate me. She won't be able to continue to uh, work from behind the curtain to continue these these regime change wars that have been so costly. Uh, thousands of my brothers and sisters in uniform were killed in Iraq, a war that she championed. Their blood is on her hands. Uh, I am calling for an end to these regime change wars. This is why she's speaking out strongly and smearing my character and trying to undermine my campaign. And just as she is doing this to me, this is what will happen to anybody who's doing the same. Yeah, well, I've certainly noticed that. Uh, and it, but I, I will say it's, it's not just Hillary Clinton. So I, one of our producers pulled together a quick list here. Samantha Power, who was one of the chief foreign, foreign policy advisors to uh, President Obama, has also gone after you. National security analysts from CNN and, and MSNBC have, have joined in. It, it's almost like the Washington foreign policy establishment may not like Hillary Clinton, but they're united with her on this question. Yeah, well, this, this is something that happened uh, from literally the day I announced my candidacy uh, for president. 
Uh, as I said in my tweet earlier, it's become very clear now who's behind it and why. And it is Hillary Clinton and her yes. proxies, the warmongering foreign policy establishment, uh, who are, are uh, conducting this, this coordinated smear campaign. And now we know exactly why. It's because I am standing up and speaking out strongly against the Hillary Clinton legacy, the warmongering legacy of waging these yes. regime change wars, continuing to escalate these tensions between the United States, nuclear armed countries like Russia and China, this nuclear arms race bringing more profits to the military industrial complex. As president, I will end these counterproductive policies, these regime change wars, this new Cold War and arms race, and redirect our taxpayer dollars back towards serving the needs of our people right here at home. So I want to send a message, Tucker, to your viewers here tonight. Whether you're Democrat, Republican, Independent, Libertarian, whoever you are, if you are sick and tired of Hillary Clinton's warmongering policies and corruption, come and join our campaign. We need your support. You can join us at Tulsi2020.com. You think, i got to ask you a final political question. In your response to her, you said, make it explicit, get in the race. Any indication she will? Yes. She has been publicly speaking a lot recently. Do you think that's real? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, for her to come out and actually speak for herself, come out from behind the curtain uh, and, and stop using these proxies, then it will again become clear that this is a race between Hillary Clinton and myself. And voters will be given a very clear choice, a clear choice between choosing Hillary Clinton and all that she represents and continuing these warmongering policies and corruption or supporting me and my candidacy and the leadership that I seek to bring as a Democrat to take our Democratic Party back so it is a party of, by, and for the people, a party that's fighting for peace, fighting for the people, fighting to protect our planet, and to lead our country forward, to bring people together around our unifying principles and freedoms and who we are as Americans. And enough of the McCarthyite nonsense. It's really unbelievable. Congressman, thanks so much. Tulsi Gabbard joining us tonight live. I appreciate it. Thank you.